All right, so we're going to be upgrading this HP Pavilion all in one. And I got everything off of Amazon. I have the things I need right here in this package. Of course, I got a new keyboard and mouse too. Make sure you guys check that out in the description. This video is being taken with my Insta360 gimbal. So these are all the things I think I should need. And of course, we got to open. So I have So I have some screws to connect my new SSD. And I have a connector to connect my SATA hard drive to my new SSD. And this is primarily gonna be used for transferring data. I'm gonna use this later because I'm gonna be just wiping everything out of here and starting fresh. I have my RAM, and again, you guys can check this out in the description, all right? And this is going to give me 16 gigabytes. And of course, this is our new one terabyte solid state drive. So these are all the things that you guys should need. And if not, I'll let you know in this video. All right, now... The first act of business is to go ahead and open the back of this. To do that, first we have to take off the stand, and then we're going to open this up, and we're going to get right into it. All right, guys, so I took the little rubber pieces off the bottom. I started to pop, and one thing I had trouble with just then was getting the stand off. So to get to this stand, you have to push this all the way down. Once the handle is all the way down, you can put a screwdriver in there and pop the back piece off. All right. Oh, once the stand is all the way down, you can pull this slightly up and pop this back piece off. See, it's all the way down, and then this just comes up. All right, guys, so we're back. Now we have the computer open. And since the computer is open, we are mainly gonna be focusing on removing the hard drive and replacing it with our PNY SSD, solid state drive, one terabyte. And this is one terabyte too, but it is a hard drive, which makes it run a little slower. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. I'm gonna start there, and it should just be one screw here in this area. One screw, and make sure you guys keep up with your screws. I have a little plastic bag over there I'm using, but I've done it, so I kinda know where everything goes, but make sure you keep track of your screws. So you should have the four screws that it took from the stand, the little white pieces that were at the bottom, and now you have this screw too. And this should make the computer run faster. So you lift this little knob up and you see an arrow and it's pointing that way. So you should just shift. You should just pull on it and it should be a shift. You hear that click and you should be able to lift it up. All right, and this is still a good hard drive and there's still data up here. I didn't wipe it. Um, if you want to wipe yours, you can wipe it. 
Um, and or if you just want to have extra storage or backup storage, you still can use this. It's just a little slower than you know an SSD, but it's still a drive. I'm still gonna use that. First, I will make sure that your new solid state drive fits. So you simply take this, push it in, bam, it fits. And as you guys see, it's kind of just sitting there. We have to take the casing off of our hard drive and I'm gonna do that now. So we can give that a little more stability. So I'm gonna just undo these screws. Um, these screws, you, depends on how your computer is rigged up. You may be able to use these screws to fasten your solid state drive to this casing. And that would be ideal, but you kind of got to see, see what's going on. As you guys can see, this was, this has tape on it and somebody wanted to ensure that they stayed in place. So once you remove those, you should be able to slide the hard drive out. And again, this is a hard drive. This is just casing. This is a hard drive. Again, you can use that for whatever you see fit. Now we're gonna take this and just see how it lines up. Of course, some people, you know, buy cases. I have an extra case, but I'm not sure how it would fit. So I just wanna see how things would line up. So I could hit a screw right here. I can screw, hit this screw right here and pull up my solid state drive. And I think that is how I will fasten it. Let's see how the back, can I hit anything on the side? I might be able to hit something on the side too. Um, The holes are on the side there. Do I slide? No. I'm only, the only way I can hook something to this is if I hit this screw at the bottom. I mean, hit this screw right here and I'm going to do that. But you also have other options. Let's see if this option works. I had an option for a case. In this case, would sit here, but that would not do me any good. because the screws wouldn't line up. I could line them up to the side, but that still isn't gonna give it more stability. So it's just not flimsy. So again, that's what I'm gonna do. There's all different types of ways. This is the easiest way. And this is just what I'm gonna do. Use this and use some of the holes to fasten this. Simple slide and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a screw for my set. Let's see what we have. I have a few screws that should fit this state drive and I have these screws just because I bought a case and it doesn't, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this casing because it doesn't fit the shape of this computer. So it's kind of in the way. Um, so I'm just going to use what I have. So I'm just going to use the casing that was already on the computer and I'm just going to put something in it so it can hold. And now I'm going to slide this back on. I'm just going to put my screwdriver in and lift up the drive just a bit. And this is just to give the drive a little stability in this casing. Um, you can replace the casing and all of that, but this video isn't for that. I just want to give the drive a little more stability. So I'm just screwing this in. Now the drive has a little more stability um, and it's locked in place. I'm not gonna move the case and we're good. Now I'm gonna put this screw back. Remember I said, make sure you keep up with your screws. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. And now we have taken care of the SSD part. And now we have replaced the hard drive in the computer. One step down, many more to go. Now we will be replacing the memory. I had a little hiccup. 
in this and I'm going to tell you guys once we get to the part. So, of course, you're going to make sure you have to take this whole piece off right here. To take this piece off, you have one, two, three, four, five, five screws that are holding this plate together. Let's take them all out. Take them one out. And if you have a magnetic screwdriver, this would be love. It'll help you so you can't, you wouldn't be going through what I'm going through. I'm trying to pull it. I'm simply loosening all the screws. And now I'm removing all of the screws. Okay, once all the screws are loose or out, you're gonna lift up and pull this way. So you lift it up and you pull it this way because it's under these little, uh, it's under this little holder. So then that comes perfectly off. Make sure you keep up with the screws if you took them out. And this is where you will find your ram stick. All right, so to release this, you just push outward and it pops right up. Once it pops up, you can pull it right out. So I had made a mistake earlier and I ended up having to return the ram that I did buy and get new ones. This is an old motherboard and it only allows me to use DDR3. I had DDR4 and DDR4 is what people sell mainly now, but um, this is a DDR3. And when I got that DDR4, my memory stick did not fit. So I simply returned it to Amazon. And now that I know that, I still have 16 gigabytes of memory, but it comes in the form of two memory sticks. So this is that. And we're gonna go ahead and install that. And once we install that, it should be easy, easy money. So we're going from a RAM of four gigabytes to two eight gigabyte rams two two eight gigabyte to two eight gigabyte chips all right so simply we'll start with the lower pop it in push it down bam it's that easy and we're going to do this other one again if you have the wrong type of memory stick this is not gonna fit. This is not gonna snap it in easily like that. So if you have the wrong memory stick, do not try to force it. You can damage your computer and then you're gonna end up having to buy a whole new setup then. All right, so you snap, put it in, push it down. Oh, hold on, put it in, push it down. Bam, you should hear the snap. And we're in there. Now you just put everything back together. So let's go ahead and put our plate back. Again, we all right, let's put our plate back. We just slide that in, slide that in the slots first, and then take it down. Put your screws back in. Me, I didn't take them all out of the hole, so they're still halfway in. Put the screws back. And if you're good, if, if you're one that likes to lose screws, make sure you have extra screws on hand. I know that can get hot. I know that can get hectic sometimes, losing screws. I'm not perfect myself. But yeah, so let me know in the comments, what are you doing with your memory? Why are you upgrading your computer?
the old stick. I don't know what you would do with this. It's kind of old. It makes stuff run slow. I don't need it. So we have the SSD installed, stabilized, and we have new RAM installed. This computer should work like a champ. Let's put this back. And we're placing this back. It should just kind of snap back in. Gently press on it. You should hear the snap. Just press on it. Press everything back in place. Four screws. Make sure you remember your four screws. I have mine in a bag over here. So we're gonna place this back here. And this thing was a beast. I think the hardest part is getting this piece off. All right, so this is a piece. Simply put it in, line the screws up, bam, like such. And it's pretty good, like all the screws for real, they work together. And you put this piece back in like such. You should hear the snap. That piece was the hardest part to get off. And and we're done. So that's all it is to it. Now let's plug it up. All right, God. God, look at that right there, man. Make sure you check out the keyboard and mouse. All right, but now I'm here. I had to do a lot of troubleshooting to get here and come to find out you will need a Windows USB bootable drive. All right, a Windows bootable USB drive. You will need that to get here. I was having a lot of problems. I thought I might have set it up wrong and all of that, but it was just I needed a drive. So if you are here, um, you would simply hit next, install now, and it's gonna reinstall Windows 10. I installed Windows 10 on a USB bootable drive, and it's just gonna take me through all the licenses and things like that. And once you go through the motions, you will be here on this install, and it takes a little while for it to install. I would like to say if you do have that new drive, it won't hurt just deleting whatever you have up there and hitting format and new. This will set it up completely fresh. Once that finishes, it will go into a restart. Man, I'm not even going to lie. That was pretty fast. This computer used to go turtle speed. Man, look at that keyboard one more time. Make sure you check it out. But it used to go turtle speed. Let's see what it looks like. Getting device ready, getting device ready, getting ready. Hopefully it boots up like my laptop. I swear my laptop doesn't take longer than like 20 seconds. It's like the longest. That laptop loads up in like five, six seconds, easy. But um, hopefully this goes a little faster. And now, you know, Cortana is gonna talk to you. And from here, you should be good. <laughs> 